What's up traders? This is V Trades and today I'll be doing a technical analysis breakdown for PayPal. They are an American company who offer financial services related to online payments. This was requested by one of the viewers and it will be my first analysis for this company. Before we begin, please take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more chart analysis. Also thank you to those who already subscribed and liked my video, it means a lot. Just a reminder that this video is for entertainment purposes only and does not constitute any financial advice. We will start out the technical analysis by going over what I see in the daily chart and potential price targets. Then we will wrap it up by looking at the long term pattern on the weekly chart. So the first thing that I noticed about PayPal, it looks like it made a spike down, which is right here. I'm going to put it in the channel right now. So this is the spike. We got about several bars inside of it. And then price went sideways right around here. And then we had a breakout recently. So I'm not sure if this breakout is going to fail and we're going to fall back inside of the small range or even break outside of here to come up to fill in this gap that price created right around here. Or if um, we're going to continue lower in a spike in channel because this looks also um, um, something that's in play right now. But we just have to wait and see. Uh, we're going to see if we find some resistance right here and then we'll continue lower. Or if this was just a failed breakout and we're going to fall back inside of the range or even break outside of it since we had a break on the lower side, we could potentially see a break outside on the top side. But if we do continue lower, I'm going to expect a measured move um, down because this was one leg down right here. And then this would be the second leg down. If this is the top of the correction right here, then the next target that I see is the 242 level. So PayPal could make another leg down because the price action moves in two. But we just got to wait and see if this is going to act as resistance for price and for it to continue lower or if it's going to be a failed breakout for us to fall back into that range or um, break outside in the top of this range and then come back to film this gap over here. So it looks like PayPal is in a range if I just zoom out a little bit and I'm going to put a channel on here which is a sideways channel and it looks like these would be the lows of the range right around here. You get the most touches and you drag it across. Here are the lows of the range and these look like the highs of the range. So it doesn't look really good for PayPal for the longs because it looks like we just had a double test of this high right here. So this is the high that price made and then we came back to test it once and they came back to test it twice. So that's pretty much a triple top so that's not a good sign for the longs. So that's why I expect us to continue down and make this second leg and also because it looks like the uptrend channel just um, is over right now because it played out so this is the uptrend channel right here fits really nicely it's holding prices really well so this is why I see that's the channel let's change the color so this blue uptrend channel we have a lot of touches on the upper side and lower side but we saw we have this breakout side which means um, there's a loss of like force continuing right there's a uh, momentum is slowing down so once we see a breakout side on the channel we're probably going to retest the high or even make a new one most of the time. And that's exactly what happened. We just surpassed it by just a little bit. And this would have been right right at the place to take a short, you know, a pretty good location. And then we'll look what happened. We just sold off right back down. And also these are the highs of the range. We just had um, the uptrend um, stop and it made a new high. So the uptrend is kind of over um, and we sold off. So it doesn't really good for the longs. It looks like we're going to come back to around here. This measured move down if these um, are the highs of the correction, not if we just surpass it and come back all the way up here, then, then we're not going to have this measured move down. Probably not. It will probably be less like right around here, but we have to wait and see if these are the highs of the move and we start just continuing lower and lower. This would be my target right here, the 242 level and possibly even the lower side of the range because price action moves from the upper side to the lower side of the range and from the lower side to the upper side of the range. So expect that coming. And if I zoom out just a little more on the daily chart, you can see that price was inside of this uptrend that also played out right around here. So this looks like the uptrend that played out. These are the lows of the range of the channel and these are the highs. I'm going to change the color to something else. Let's make it red. So this red uptrend channel is played out. We got a lot of touches on the lower side of the channel right around here so these are the places to buy the dips buy the dips here buy the dips here on the pullbacks on an uptrend so that's when you buy right you don't want to buy over here look what happened you just it just sold off because price um, broke outside of the channel and that led to a break outside on this side because the market is symmetrical and look what happened we made a new high see after the break outside we get a new high and this plays out on um 
all time frames pretty much in all minor and major patterns so we had a break outside here and a move to a new high and then same thing for this um, slim channel we had a break outside and a move to a new high so that pretty much marks the end of the uptrend uh, that's what tells me to not continue buying now right uh, it's pretty much time to take shorts if I was trying to short this market so I don't uh, see higher highs anymore um, I'm gonna expect us to come back to the lower side of this range also there was this measured move right here this was the first leg up and then price went sideways and then it continued higher and it pretty much made a perfect measured move right there and that's why we had that sell-off price got far away from the EMA it was right at the measured move and people took the profits and then boom we got two legs down one and then went up a little bit and then it went two so that's pretty much perfect price action then we had that breakout side move to a new high and also on the slim channel a breakout side moved to a new high and we sold off so it doesn't really look good for longs I don't see any um, bullish signs to do anything right now to buy uh, we could find support at this midline of the range, but it's not really like a strong support level. The strong support level um, is the low of the range. So that's where I think prices are going to come to. Uh, I don't know how it's going to do it, but it's going to try to do it. And if it fails, then I'll probably give you guys an update regarding if anything changes. But that's pretty much my analysis. It looks like we had one leg down. Uh, we had that um, end of the uptrend. Now we had one leg down. A correction it looks like we're probably making the second leg down soon. So expect PayPal to pull back to these levels over here. And if, if anything changes, uh, it would probably need to be like a double or triple test of some type of support level, maybe around here. And then we probably might come back to fill in this um, gap. But I do see us continuing to the lower side of the channel or at the very least this measured move. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the weekly chart. And before I go to the weekly chart, you can see the earnings um, was right where they created that gap. And that's pretty much expected after we get that new high in place. In the major uptrend and the slim channel it looks like it was selling off and then it sold off even harder so the price action is never random um, it always moves to a certain location on the chart um, and these earnings are or these news are just movements that they use to cover up their tracks right uh, if they want to drop the market then they can just release whatever thing they want to do but it was pretty much um, not uh, random right we see this happen multiple times on numerous markets whatever um, the channel plays out and we get the new high it could be just in form of two legs or some type of new high we're gonna see a sell-off and that's exactly what happened and now we're just uh, making kind of like a flag pattern for continuation lower so now I'll show you the weekly chart so on the weekly chart I'm gonna go ahead and draw the uptrend that I saw in the daily chart which is right around here and then price made an overshoot right around here and that's what led to the breakout side right here because the market is symmetrical and price was far away from the EMA so it has to pull back sooner or later and it looks like price just made a new high and a double top which is pretty much like a reversal pattern so it's not really a good sign right here um, price couldn't make a new high so the market structure has changed right in the uptrend prices continue to make higher highs and higher lows it keeps on surpassing the high right like it looks like this but look at we just stopped dead in the tracks right at this high and so the market structure has changed or at the very least temporarily so it's not really a good time to take any longs we have to wait so now looks like this is the support level for this range that looks like price could start um, moving sideways in so i do expect prices to come to this level uh, in the near term in the coming months we're just finding temporary support at the ema it doesn't really look good that we're not getting rejected by it um, usually in an uptrend you kind of want to see bounces from it like around here, we got a bounce, we got a bounce here, we're getting, we're getting bounces here. I mean, we are moving sideways here, but then um, we get a bounce here. So exactly, uh, that's what I was talking about, where you don't want to see stacking up because it's kind of dangerous for the longs. You kind of want to see just bounces off of it. So now we're stacking up, so it really doesn't look good. This could be a reversal area for it to continue lower. So that's pretty much uh, my analysis for PayPal. I just see lower lows continuing. I don't see uh, um, any more buy opportunities. Um, that's pretty much it thank you for stopping by and checking out my video make sure to check out the rest of the channel since you might be surprised on what you could learn leave a comment down below on where you think prices are headed also share the video if you want your friends to learn about the markets lastly i appreciate any feedback to help improve the channel since i want to deliver great content to you guys see you next time and bye